Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play StarCraft II Wings of Liberty. I'm Nye, and Ken is once again with me. How's it going? So, you know, as usual, we're between missions, so let's watch TV. Also, have you noticed the Do Not Shoot at Screen sign up here just for Rainer? <laughs> yeah. So, w what's going on in the Extremely Biased News Team? Let's see. Donnie Vermillion, UNN. Your first, last, and only stop for the truth. Does this guy, like, use a different definition of truth than I do? I guarantee you this is just the game's take on Fox News. It might very well be, but I'm not gonna... I love how much censored there is here. <laughs> just so much censored. That's a... just, as it gets to the end, especially. And that's like Jane's sign of Bob Strike Back. Yeah. Exploded, deleted. I can't tell you. And his will I love that. <laughs> will not blank. We expect, we expect to blank them very soon. We should do. We should do like Mad Libs through this. I think we'll all sleep a little better tonight. <laughs> just knowing okay. I need a noun and a verb and just you and Mad I Libs through that. Be <laughs> fantastic. All right. Keep that in mind for the next episode. Okay, Tychus. What do you, you got to say? We're gonna learn about Gabriel Tosh. We are here in. He's apparently a ghost. It's a badass. Covert branch of the ghost program that produced some real scary badasses. I love, I love ghosts. Was, They're probably my favorite unit in the rogue. game. And they were so fucking annoying in the first one, especially so if you didn't good. notice. And then all yeah, okay. of a sudden, down comes the nuke. If the one still works, yeah, exactly. That's the thing. If you weren't paying attention, you thought it was like your yeah. buddy that you're co-oping with, like launching a nuke, and be like, oh. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit! And then there goes your base. Yeah, pretty much. Okay, I don't think we have anything we can do in the laboratory right now. We can talk to Hansen. Let's talk to Hansen. Just out of curiosity, I did some tests on the minerals. Ah, uh, fucker. I you should know. I found That's apparently story. what she wants, but we're not talking about that. <laughs> all ears, Doc. So uh, apparently we got Jorium. Resonates at the same frequency as so it does brain things, waves. stimulates it's brain activity. Theory. It's a drug, it's basically. Stimulate brain activity or even produce psionic abilities. Produce psionic abilities. Yay, we can make humans go psycho faster than ever before. And that's what Gabriel Tosh wants. Okay, but yeah, we can't do any. Uh, we can't do any more research. We don't have enough points. We're about um, how many points do we have? We have nine One points. Point. So on the next mission, if I go to the Zerg mission, we will be able to do the uh, Kurdish Nerds versus Planetary Fortress. What are your options on the Protoss side before you make a decision? Well, the Protoss side doesn't matter because if I like, they don't affect each other. Right. No, no, I'm saying if you have an option for, you know, to balance it, what are your options on the Protoss side before you dedicate to Zerg uh, first? Ultra Capacitor says weapon upgrades in the armory and engineering bay increase attack speed by 5% in addition to increasing damage, which is amazing. Mm -hmm. Or armor upgrades in the armory and engineering bay increase life by 5% in addition to increasing armor. I honestly think the attack uh, speed is just way better than the health. That's the thing I always like about, or rather was annoyed with, is I could kill you faster or you can kill me slower. This is kind of like a one-sided decision. <laughs> I really, I really do think, yeah, that's the, that's the thing. It is a seriously one-sided decision, at least for me, because I'm usually building masses of units, so I would much rather have more damage because that means massive more damage. If you're right. going to kill my units, 5% extra dam or extra life is not going to matter all that much. But 5% faster attack speed will matter a lot. Especially when attacking in groups. Love it. <laughs> and in my opinion, the next level is a no-brainer, too. Supply depots can be built instantly. Remember, guys, these are walls and defensive fortresses. Or refineries and automated refiners to produce Vespine gas 25% faster. That that one's actually a pretty hard decision. If you'd rather have more, you know, more supplies versus an instant amount of you know people that you could build, as opposed to whether or not you have the materials to build them. That was like a legitimate question right there. Yeah, I mean it's not it's not a horrible thing for me, but just it's just one of those. I would rather. No. I'd rather have the yeah. orbital supply depot. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. I'm just, uh, just, just, just for the people that like want to think about it, 
it 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 is definitely one worth considering. You know. So where's our reapers? Oh, I don't have the reapers in here. Oh well, damn. Okay, well we can't upgrade the reapers, so we now have all of our infantry units. Uh, let's see, reapers gain plus one range, do additional plus three damage to light armor or anti personnel charge with large blast radius. Anti personnel, bow. Eject smaller payloads. The problem is that requires um a lot of micro. Like, it is a very micro-heavy thing. I think I want the U-238 rounds. Are there anything? Oh, okay, missile turrets. Hold on. How much do we care about this? How much do I care about missile turrets? That's the question. Uh, you love them, sir? Yeah, I think we're going to want the Hellstorm battery. Okay, do we have 35k left over? Um, I've already purchased those. I can't purchase anything else. So we're gonna stick with that. Okay. You know what? Because I can afford it, let's go to the cantina. And we're going to buy the contract for the hammer securities. Because I'm gonna want, uh, heavies. Okay. Off to the bridge. We've talked to everyone, I think. Uh, except for Tosh. Tosh, sup? He's, he's got, like, these glowing white eye things going on. And he seems to be a mashup between being Jamaican and being the uh, Klingons from Star Trek. Or the, um, Cyclos from the movie version of Battlefield Earth. Wow, I haven't heard that name in a long time. Oh, I you love the correct, book. The sir. movie's just terrible. But I love the book. The book's amazing. Oh, shit. The movie was only done because John Travolta clung onto the idea of Scientology and some other random crap for so long. Yeah. But yeah, the, I mean, the books, the book is a uh, book, single. Yeah, I know it's long, but it's one book. Fantastic book. Ooh, Goliath Online. Uh, I don't want to do that. We're not doing that. That's not happening. Um, oh, 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 I so want that. I really, really want, uh, I want that. Can you risk it? Nope. Man, I've, mine off. We're doing this one first. No! I, I, want, I want plus two Zerg research. Don't forget about your pure test research, son. I know, but this is one of the hardest missions in early game. Like, it's really hard. I want to have, I I'm not doing this yet. I will do it later. Fine. We're going to go do the day-night cycle. This mission's a pain in the ass, but I think we can do it. Especially because I have all this defensive technology available to me. So what are we looking at, Doc? We're looking at a screen! Our readings indicate some kind of bio <laughs> spreading through the region. So damn literal! I've seen this kind of thing So before. basically we got zombies. It's a Zerg virus. Nazi zombies? If you like, they're Zergs, so yes. Space Nazis! All the people are dead. Except this. Learn this. They're dead. If not yet, we're gonna help with that. They'll be re-dead. No, 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 that's Zelda. It looks like they burrow underground by day. Are they really called the Redead and Zelda? The virus yeah, the ones that scream. The Those are Redead. Oh my god, I didn't know that, and I love those games. I am a horrible, horrible person. You know the ones that the first time I ever uh, play or fought against them, it was in uh, Ocarina of Time, when the, uh, Temple of Time forward and go into the uh, Hyrule Castle Town. Yeah, and they yeah. used to freak me the hell out. Like, I'd be sneaking oh. around, I'd hear it, and I'd go, Oh, God damn it, go away! It was just this, ugh. Hey, dude, I, I completely agree, because I'd, like, like shake the stick like it was going to suddenly help me, because, you know, reasons. This is my stick, yeah. I mean, they, and, they were some. Um, uh, Wind Waker, they were pretty. Um, Twilight Princess. I don't remember them in Twilight Princess. And I beat that I, game 100%. Uh, granted, it's been years since I played it, but... I vaguely remember them. They were in, um... Uh, they were in, um... Okay, we need a tech lab here. We need a reactor here. What do I have available to me? 
Not enough. Jesus. Okay. Um. Do you have your instant uh, supply depots available? No. That's going to be after... I, I'm not going to have those for a while. That's that's not happening for a while. All right. Uh, I'm going to mute for a second. One moment. Okay. To this camp. I want a perimeter set and some bunkers in place now. Bunkers. Bunkers, he back. said. Bunkers. But, uh... Yeah, those re-dead. Man. I was always... I always tried. It was almost impossible to get through the high rolls town center square thing. Without them without, jumping on you. Yeah, without triggering at least one. I mean, you may not get jumped on. But they always froze you at least once. Mm -hmm. I now I can't remember. I, if, I, if I remember correctly, in Twilight Princess, they were kind of like zombie things, well, like they were or, zombie things or like mum, mummy things. I mean, they reminded me of mummies. Fair enough. What I also didn't know, just if we're on the subject of Zelda, was for the longest time when you're on your way to the Temple of Time before you go into the future. Was there was a guard dying in the back alleyways? I actually saw that in another YouTube video, which was intriguing because I'd never saw that before. It's like holy crap, they actually killed off a side person relevant to the storyline. Okay, we're gonna set up our perimeter as fast as humanly possible because this level is an absolute goddamn nightmare. Don't forget your bunkers for turrets; they'll I help you. We're building bunkers for turrets. It is now nighttime. Bad things will now happen. Now we gotta hold out till sunrise. Brace yourselves. Like this level is an absolute goddamn nightmare. Watch. We're just gonna get endlessly boned. That's what this that's what this level does. It is just endless boning. Uh try to defend your SCVs as best you can. Oh, my SCVs are not going to get touched. That, that's how this level is going to go. If they get past these lines of defense when that happens, game over, man. Game over. That's that's basically what we're at. Okay, well, can you build another barrack that will produce another turret to help your cause? Oh, I'm going to. I'm gradually getting bunkers up, but I need one bunker per exit. That's the, that's the important thing right now, is to have a oh. bunker per exit. Eventually, you're going to need two bunkers per exit. Already working on it. Well, uh, sir, you know what I mean. I'm not criticizing you. I'm just reinforcing the idea in your Oh, no, mind. what I'm saying is we're we're already working on that. Like, I will totally help with that. If that's what you want, I will kill you. Believe me, I will kill you guys by the thousands. Yeah, I like how all these people always have just enough cognitive ability to be like, yeah, I should totally be dead by now, but I'm just going to spend all that effort on the words. Get up here to this one, get up here to this one. Okay. That's the first attack done. I'm just going to heal up real quick. And I need you... So the first time I played this level... Here comes the next attack. First time I played this level, I, uh... Did not take... I did not protect this lower left section here, because I didn't realize those were destructible items. That didn't end, end, end well. But yeah, the turrets will actually take care of guys on their own, and then I can gradually fill these things up. You need more supply depots. Yep. Like, like... A while ago. Mm -hmm. Okay, we need now we need that, 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 yeah. that. Watch your resources. Oh my resources are fine. I am not concerned with my resources. I am kind of concerned about my uh lack of refinery action going on here, and now that's fixed. Is that a Vespin geyser? That is a Vespin geyser. But yeah, we're gonna we're gonna kill so many men during this event. <gasps> Don't be so happy with yourself. We're gonna kill so many people. I want another bunker over here. 
That makes me sad. That should actually be all the bunkers we need. If you do it right. <laughs> okay, yeah, don't do that. Like, d don't. Just, just don't. Sorry. Okay, so now we're gonna have to make our magical murder ball. Whoa, what's this nonsense? Don't do that. That's not nice. How are you doing? You doing okay? You need a little bit of healing. Okay. We'll, we'll have to deal with that. Hey, look, I got friends. And I here got hellions. And they just gave me a. Uh... Let's build a reactor on that. I got schematics to build them hellions. You saw Marsara. Should be good down there. I'm surprised they don't use more biological weapons. Biological weapons. We get those later. Okay, hellions. Let's get to work. Okay, you, you still gotta realize though that we have biological weapons now. I know, but I why mean, the hell we, we don't we have them, them in the future? Okay, it's semantics, sir. Well, you gotta remember. Yeah. Well, remember oh no! Do do not attack the freaking car. <laughs> do, do you not remember? Do you not remember what happened the last time we used biological weapons? I'll give you a hint. We're attacking them right now. Can you see why they might be a little bit, like, reticent to use uh, uh, biological weapons right now when the Zerg were the biological weapons? Listen, young lady. Don't be throwing all your counterpoints at me. When I would just dump the entire area with acid before I even set my soldiers on the ground. I mean, that's totally a thing we can do, but... Right? Flesh-eating bacteria? Raise the surface? We could totally make this a one-sided war, but no, we've got these... <coughs> morals and shit. Screw them up! So now we're doing this thing here, where we go kill a lot of people. Okay, we're doing good. Need some more... Not enough minerals? What's this nonsense? Get more minerals! Dig faster. Um, if you'll excuse me, I have a work-related phone call coming in. Okay. You go over here. Okay, so the Hellions are going to be just causing all si all sorts of problems. It's kind of what they do. Hellions cause hell. Ready to raise some hell! See, like he said. And we're going to have a lot of Hellions. The problem with Hellions is that they move very, very fast, but they're pretty weak overall. It's like, look, we're not really dealing a lot of damage here. We're going to get rid of this camp. And then we're gonna keep moving. Okay, so we're gonna do that. You're just fine. Stop complaining. We need some more supply depots. That's a problem. Okay. You. Build me all kinds of supply depots. Like that sector's clear, Jim. Better move on to the next one. I can do that. Clearing sectors is a thing I'm good at. Okay, we're gonna go up north. Just let them kind of go on around. They'll attack things for me. Gotta watch this guy because his health is a little bit low. Why are you so twitchy? You should not be so twitchy. All you're doing is piloting a car that has freaking like j uh, flamethrowers on it. That's all you're doing. You're not doing anything special. And then you get back to work. Sure thing. Uh, I'm in Actually, can you build an armory? Yes, yes you can. Move it. It yeah, we just gotta keep watching our time, but we got tons and tons of time. No big deal. Time is not an issue for us. Just gonna build some more Hellions. 
So I want you, you to get over here. That'll give us some more guys. Gonna keep an eye on our time. Don't wanna I don't wanna I don't want it to get close, is the thing. I don't want to uh Stop complaining. You guys are fine. Nobody's been damaged. Nobody's... Man, don't, don't complain to me. I don't care. We're going to have a ton of supply, which is good. Don't need anything there. How, are you almost done with this? I mean, seriously. And build me an engineering bay. Since we're doing this. Get those built. Have I missed a point where you guys are, like, not wrecking everything? Minute 59 left. We might be coming up here to do this. You know, it might be a thing. I'm not sure. I'm going to have to see if there's... Number one, time. It's not going to happen in this day-night cycle. Might happen on the next one, though. Okay. How's this doing? I a starport? No, factory. Okay. Okay, that's a thing. Uh, I'm in a heat of some hell. How are these guys doing? Excellent. Got just enough time to clear down here. Alright, this sector is clear. Nice work, boys. Now move on to the next area. Okay, I want this thing. Oh, good, it's not making any more. Good. Just burn everything. Burn it. Scorched Earth policy. We kill everything. We have enough time. We might have enough time to do some stuff in here. Okay. Let's get these going. That'll make sure that these are taken care of. Is all are all these filled to the brim? Good. Okay. I want you to build another bunker. Right here. Right here. Right there. Nightfall in 30 seconds. And it's time to leave. <laughs> we'll do the rest, like, on the next day-night cycle. We are not screwing around with Nightfall. That's not gonna happen. We should? Yeah, we're able to get in just fine. Good. I don't think... Yeah, I don't think they can get in through the rest of it. I think they have to get in through these areas. We're gonna want to build some towers soon, though. Where is he making the latest one? Okay. You should set some guards. They'll be coming again soon. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we know they're coming. Okay. Scans are picking up a unique Zerg biosignature. It appears to be a burrowing creature that is underground during the day and emerges only at night. Sounds like a normal so, Zerg. If you kill one of those creatures. Stedman can study it and perhaps learn something. Let's just get some of these set up. Because anti-air defenses are important in this game. Okay, well we're gonna... We gotta go and kill infestors, which means we have to actually go out. So we can deal with that. Which is fine, because I have so many of these things. Nah, that's fine. I can understand. It's a scary thing. Kill the infested marines. Kill them. Kill them all. They're just pissing off everybody today. Look at this. This is just a bad day for these guys. Okay, let's go uh, check, make sure everything's okay here. Yeah, everything's fine. No big deal. Okay, so we need to go through here. Seriously, you sure like stirring up the hornet's nest. Yes, I do. Stirring up hornet's nest is something I do for fun. 
Okay, so my guys are taking some damage. We're gonna keep an eye on that. This guy's at 40. Okay, we're doing fine. I just gotta make sure to get to these faster. Burn everything! Okay, we're gonna back off, because that guy's gonna have some issues. We're just gonna have to go kill that guy. We're gonna go, we're gonna heal up. And then we might go and attack again, I'm not sure. Gotta make sure that Hellion stays alive. Go with the messy V. All of them need healing. All of them. Okay. Uh, you six, get in there. Good. One, two, three, four, five, six. Wonderful. That's almost done researching. It's a wonderful thing to be fully upgraded. You know what? I haven't called in the war pigs in a while. Let's call them in. Upgrade complete. In you go, guys. Good men. Awesome. I don't think we're gonna need the. Uh, I don't think we're gonna need anybody else. The war pigs we definitely need. Call in more Hellions. <laughs> the queue's full. That's fine. The Hellions are good. He's healing for all he's worth, and that's cool. Guess I'm not. Base. Get some more of these guys going. This better be good. Move it. We got some attacks going on, but. Shouldn't be anything huge. These guys need a little bit of uh, healing. How about you guys? A little bit, and they haven't even breached down here yet. Looks like most of our missile defenses are in place. Which is good. I like that. Okay. Upgrade. Here comes day. In 30 seconds. And we are ready to go. Ready. Time to leave. All day long. Absolutely. Okay. We need to go destroy the buildings around those uh, infestors. That way, when daybreak or when night falls again, we can just go and just immediately ruin their faces. Don't forget, you have to be back by dark. I'm not gonna forget. It's fine. You're a worry wart. Okay. Oh, it's absolutely fine. Don't bother with it. Okay, got that, got that, got that. In the rear with the gear. Oh, this guy's just gonna stay there forever then. Okay, that's fine. Uh, you... Get up here. Ready to raise some hell. Oh, you have more Hellions to make. I can fix that. Believe me. What's I am good on? at fixing things. Can you build a command center, like, right there? No? Okay. Can we reclaim this? Good job, guys. Okay. Can't remember exactly where I have to go for this, so we're just gonna kind of wander on through here. We're doing fine, though. This is like this is easy. So we'll do that there. Uh, let's see. Are you through healing? Okay. From what I understand, additional supply depots are required. Can you, uh... Thank you. And then you can get back to work on that. Okay, we need to take that out. Oh, I'm losing guys. Yeah, I'm gonna be losing Hellions for this. But I've gotta make sure to get this area clean. We've got to get this done. Okay. Lost a heap of Hellions for it. You know how they said they were in a heap of trouble? That's what they were talking about. 
just gonna path around here. Take care of everything. You guys go down there. Okay. Excellent. Oh, you can go down here too. And you. You're welcome to go down there as well. We got 3 minutes 37 seconds. We got tons of time. Let's go pop into one of these. Let's make one of those. Uh, you can go work on that. You can go work on that. Yeah, we're just wrecking. We're wrecking face. And that's where the other infester is. He's over here. So we need to be up there, and we need to be up here. Excellent. Just powering through. I find that, you know, sufficient force takes care of most everything for me. And infested refugees. It's a scary thing, you know? To have infested refugees. And there goes that. That guy's still working on his thing. Uh we need at least three Looks more like of these. That sector's clear, Jim. Better move on to the next one. Take care of this stuff. Actually, you know what? We need to I need to go up here real quick. No, I want to. I want to be on these guys because we need to go prepare that infester. Okay, I don't know where this infester is, so we gotta kind of hunt him down. Unfortunately, I've got too many of these guys. They're having trouble actually getting in. And hopefully, I want to be able to get to the other side and also take out that infester. We have no idea where he's going to be. Section's done. Looks like this area is secure. Keep it up, fellas. We can stop this. Well, I, I mean, we can kind of stop it, if that's what you mean. I'm not sure about stopping and stopping it, but we can we can work at it. Okay, I want you to build me a command center right there, and then jump back here. Take care of that. Might as well clear this area. I don't think we're going to be able to get to that other infester. Kind of an issue. Kind of a problem. This means it's going to take longer. And this sector is clear. I'm going in. Right on. Fire, fire. Actually, we want to go right for that thing. That Gonna lose some guys. And that is absolutely fine. That is acceptable losses. I know that's not a word I'm supposed to be using, but, you know. Acceptable losses. Okay, we're going to back out. We're gonna go and get that infester. And then we're basically gonna, just gonna defend. Is there a guy up here? There is. You need to get like down here. Don't know how that guy got up there. We're gonna go and establish a base near one of these places. Uh, I'm in a heap of trouble. Keep your eyes peeled. There's gonna be more of them out there. There will be. We're gonna go take out this area just because I want to get these areas taken care of. And then we're gonna go and take out that investor. Then I might go try to take out the other one, but uh, I don't know how smart of an idea that's actually gonna end up being. We're just pissing off everybody up in here. By the way, these guys just kind of spawn. Better move on to the next one. Like they're they're not coming from anywhere. They're just spawning in. That's all they're doing. They're not uh Okay, who is this investor? That thing. Kill that thing. Good. Yeah, they're not coming from anywhere in particular. They're just spawning in. I thought they were spawning in. Maybe I was wrong. 
It's always a possibility. Okay. Well, we're going to make our way around the inside edge of this. Mostly exploring, just so I know what the lay of the land is. But we're trying to go for that infester. If possible, we want to keep this southern bridge uh, safe. This one over here. Because I don't want them to have the idea that they can go ahead and attack through here. Is it? Really? Are you sure? What is that thing? Was it human? Once upon a time. At some point. It's not anymore. It's a centaur! Okay. Yeah, I just keep on building. Let's continue moving down here. I want them to be moving down. I don't want them moving up. Up is bad. Down is good. Move down. Okay, how bad is it up here? Uh, it's... I mean, it's not good. Um... Hi, you dude. Go take care of that, that, that. Then take care of that, that, that. And then you can return back to here. How are these guys doing? Good. They're doing okay. They're just gonna come into here, cause some problems. Stir that hornet's nest. That's the guy we want. Right there. Kill that. All of you. Okay. And now we just kill everything. Apologies. I am back. What did Welcome I back. miss? Well, I just killed both the infestors. We're attacking them at night because they said this was the most dangerous thing I could possibly do. And, um, yeah. We're regularly, as they, uh, as they like to say, we are raising some hell. That was also a great game and very entertaining. Uh, we got our guys down here and they're just flamethrowing everything. Kill everything! Well, this wasn't the most intelligent idea, because I'm actually actively losing guys while I do this, so I should probably not do this. Well, if you win in the end, does it really matter? Does it matter? Yes, because my score is less if I do it this way. Does your score really matter? Yes. Yes, it does. I can't even, I can't even believe you'd ask that such a question. Well, I am a consumer whore, so what can I say? So my mineral fields are getting depleted. Because I literally had them fully staffed. Oh, don't worry, you got this. Oh, of course I do. It's not a big deal. It just I did a stupid thing and decided to do exactly what they said not to do. Well, on the whole, it it's going to... I mean, night time's almost over anyway. Yep. They finally You're, broke through the south barricade. Yeah. You're going to be fine when daylight comes, and you can just wreck it, you know? Oh, yeah. So, yeah, I mean, on, this is like an extreme keeping at bay procedure, but, the, you know, the better you do it right now, the less you're going to have to deal with in 15 seconds. Yep. Or I can just go flat out attack them now. Right. Do you I, know what I, happens when day breaks? Everybody dies! Yep. Everything on screen that is not my guys dies instantly. Check it. What's up, bitches? Like a boss. Hell yes. Like a boss. Our time, all right. All right, you have yet five minutes and 45 seconds to, to destroy win. everything. Yep. That's the if plan. Yep. What well, you know? What else? If I have 45 seconds to do, party. Set, set up this base. Why not? Basically, because I can. I mean, exactly. Yes, sir. Uh, I'm in a heap of trouble. What do you mean you're in a heap of trouble? You guys are doing just fine. You're destroying everything. America. I feel I feel so bad for these supply depots. 
Do you though? Yes. You're doing great. You're a bad, bad general. I feel. What can I say? I feel bad. Okay. You lift off. Give me a reactor there. You lift off. Give me a tech lab here. You keep making hellions. I don't like Ink. them, but they are made for this mission. Like, this mission is a Hellion mission. Well, it's fire against the undead. Of course it is. Unfortunately, look at all these guys in the back who are just doing nothing, but I don't feel like micromanaging them to be, to be more useful. Eh. Whatever. Pretty much. Go attack the bigger bases. You've only got four minutes left. We're working on it. The whole time scale of these StarCraft games, it's like, do you remember the movie My Favorite Martian? Yes. I slept for 30, uh, 30 seconds? Wow, Dear God, I, I must have been, been tired. tired. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> That's what these, this, this whole timer stuff reminds me of. It's, you know, I've slept for seconds. Damn. Yep. Well, keep in mind, I've been doing this mission for a about 40 minutes now. Really? Yep. That is impressive. Uh-huh. God, look, look at look at all these all these workers that are attacking this one minefield. And it's almost over. Yeah. I actually have some <laughs> Hellions that are getting hurt. Unacceptable. Pretty much. Okay, so you you have the tech lab. I don't know if this actually works. We're gonna see what happens. Looks like that sector's clear, Jim. Of course it will work. Complete. Okay, okay. Let's less ballet, less ballet. Go kill things. Yes. You're almost there. Oh, I think Let I got all these. Okay, summer. never mind. Go up. We got all those. Did you know? So this is how I say, nope, you're not getting in. <laughs> That's the nice thing about those turret barracks. You can build them. It doesn't even count against your... Uh, that is absolutely right, yeah. Oh, crap, Population. they actually took it. They actually took down a, um... Okay, you know what? You assholes have been sitting still for far too long. Go help. You need to... What the hell are you doing, son? You should be able to finish this map off by new. I'm working on it. Do you, do you see my, uh... Hold on, I need to see how many of these guys I actually have. Whatever the reason is, it's unacceptable. You should have won. I have 44 of these things. What do you want, a metal? Yes, actually, a metal would be nice. Shut up. Okay, well that's done. <laughs> I've, I've got no snappy comeback, so I'm defending with shut up. Okay, that's building a dude for that. Now, I'm ba basically, the game's running on autopilot now. I'm just waiting. Oh, crap! Look at all these guys that have nothing to do. Quick, all of you, up here. Except for you. You could do other random shit. You need to build a barracks, or a, a bunker there. Because the bunker that I had there previously got destroyed. I'm making additional supply depots. Don't tell me I need some additional supply depots. Look at my ants! Watch them dance! You're almost done. There's just a handful of signs left. I'll highlight their locations on your map. Nightfall in 30 seconds. I spilled my drink. Uh oh. Nightfall in 30 seconds. That sounds like that could be marginally frightening at some point. It's like, uh.
My it is lord. Now nighttime. I have forgotten the name of the movie. Pitch Black. There we go. Riddick. Except, you know, you know, I have cards with flamethrowers. Yeah. It's the movie where the planet will move, you know, thousands of miles in 30 seconds until it is blacked out the sun, in which case, you know, fuck it, we're just going to stand still. It's okay. I have 40 some odd cars that have flamethrowers. We're winning. Okay, Charlie. No, we are. Watch. Look, this is the last last enemies I have to kill. It was a joke. There just happens to be a lot of them. Winning. Yeah, pretty much. Lots, lots of enemies. Lots of. What the hell is this thing? This Four. centaur thing right there. Well, click it and see what. It's oh, I can't. Mind. You can't click them. Well, normally you can highlight them and get a name off of it. I think I have that turned off. Well, I mean, I've been seeing a lot of other stuff where it says, like, infested blank, infested well, no, refugees. No, 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 that's the, uh, that is the team, team name. name. Yes, I, yeah. Come on, there's 23 of you, just burn. Thank you. <laughs> burn, burn. We have one. You did it, Jim. I knew you wouldn't let us down. No, now I've got to go do something safe. useful. Ain't gonna be so easy, darling. This whole sector's darling. <laughs> there be there Dar Darling. Oh my goodness. So He's such a cowboy, darling. Undiscovered paradise waiting just for us. There is uh, no paradise. There's Zerg everywhere. Get to space you know, cowboy. To terms that... It's cowboy bebop. No, no, it isn't. Okay, so what do we have to do in this mission? Well, one, we had to kill a lot of enemies. And we did. We killed over... <laughs> we killed over 1,800 enemies in this mission. Nice. I told you we were killing a lot of enemies. Uh, complete all mission objectives in Outbreak mission. We did that. Complete the Outbreak mission on normal difficulty before the fifth night. Uh, we were on night four. Destroy 15 infested structures at nighttime in the Outbreak mission. Uh, structure raised at night, 31. So, then again, that is a hard mode thing. Okay. We are badasses. Yeah, this it is does, how things are done. Does seem to be a whatever objective, a normal objective, and a hard objective. Yeah, that's how You know, <laughs> defeat this enemy after sending half your ranks into the sun. Yeah, pretty okay. much. Okay, why not? <laughs> because reasons. Uh-oh, we got Thanks a thing. For joining us. Something's Our happening. Kate Lockwell I am a consumer whore. And how? In orbit around the planet Pretty Minoff. much. Capitalism ho! The death toll here is soaring. Here is soaring. The worlds. Many of them won't. They're short on food, food water, and hope. And you have plenty of hope. Dominion. We'll rescue those worlds when we no. get there. We haven't There's gotten to those talk about rescue among the refugees. Uh-oh. Uh wait, wait. She's about to say something nice about me. And there they go. From a refugee ship over Great Mars. report, we'll Kate. I don't Ooh, give late. a shit. Dominion's return. Up next, a vermilion commentary. Refugees, refugees are they really our, our responsibility. responsibility? I love this guy. America. Oh, he is. Someone wants to shoot him. Seriously. Okay, ladies and gents. I'll see you guys next time when we do things and kill things and do stuff. See you later.